Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and the latest LEGO Transformers set has just been unveiled. This is Transformers Bumblebee, and I actually was lucky enough to get an early look hands-on with the set and interview the designer, Samuel Johnson, over at LEGO HQ in Bill and Denmark last September. So I've been keeping this secret for a pretty long time. Well, now the secret is out. So today we are going to see the moment where this was revealed to all of us and also a personal interview I got a chance to conduct with Samuel and Robert, my LEGO Masters teammate, where we got to play around, demo the transforming feature, take a look at the not one but two brand new pieces included in the set and so much more. So let's dive into that initial reveal right now. And then here I am back again. <laughs> and so I moved on to another project in Icons. Uh, which they said was not possible, and here I am today presenting it to you. So I hope you like it. Um, so I'm just going to take the tablecloth off. Yeah. You're not going to get that excited because you may remember this guy from oh. last year, right? Oh. Um, so I was tasked to make the next one, right? So I've been working with, uh, okay. with uh, the team in Icons, also Hasbro, and uh, we've created the next one which is under this tablecloth. And uh, when we made this one, we had quite good reference from the vintage toy to be able to work out how does it transform into a vehicle. And for this one, the toy was considerably less helpful, which I have in my pocket here. It was this. <laughs> so I have been turning this into something that matches this. With the help of my colleague Nathan, he's Stand over there. Uh, he's been doing the graphic work on this. Uh, I'm going to reveal it. Here it is. Okay. This is Bumblebee. <laughs> oh, Black. There's a weapon and a brick separator, which is very important. Um, so, yeah, this is Bumblebee. I'm going to move Prime out of the way here. Uh, so, this is, this is Bumblebee. He's a yellow vehicle. <laughs> he's uh, not really. Uh, it's a passenger car, right? So, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to keep turning it around. So you can see it has some jazzy bumper stickers on the back. Uh, we'll keep turning it around. And uh, then, if you want, I'll transform it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so this took me a year to design. And uh, from scratch, trying to work out how to match the scale of Optimus because that's very important. There shouldn't be the same height and all this kind of thing. Uh, also, the cars should look great side by side. So I'm going to transform it and uh, yeah, hope you, hope you like it. Whoop, whoop. Let's go. <laughs> um, so we take this off. And then just uh, feel free to shout if there's anything you see. Nervous about doing this in front of a crowd. It never goes how I want it to go. Um, we haven't made the steps for this yet, so uh, it's still very, uh, oh, oh. very open as to how we're actually going to execute it. So let's put that like that. Then separate it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Open, open, open. Pay attention, you have to remember how to do this. <laughs> oh, oh man. Folding these in here. We just tuck those in a little bit. Right, I'm gonna just uh, put that like that. Hold these little guys in. There's like 40 steps or something. <laughs> so, and you have to, this is very important, put these down. And then we. Open this little flap. Transforming. And then just fold these little pieces out here. He's got real fingers. And fold this up. Yeah. So that's Bumblebee right there. But that's not all. Okay, so, <laughs> so he's got this weapon that goes in his hand, it just clicks into his hand. And now he can post. Yeah, I'm like shaking because I'm so nervous to present <laughs> it. And then this piece that I took off before, that's almost like have a piece you take off and then they're just off, right? So you hold this in half and this becomes like a B wing. 
jetpack. So it's saying that you sit on the back. If I get a bit of Yeah. So he's got this detail on the back as well. Yeah. He has a, a couple of new elements as well, which you may be able to see, may not be able to see. Uh, do we have this new uh, arch piece, which we're using as the fenders on the car to give him that kind of more rounded, bubbly <coughs> look to him. And there's also a piece which is hidden inside, which is, you remember the old uh, Atat walkers from Star Wars, they have this ratchet joint, we actually made a kind of bow tie version of that, so it's a <coughs> double-sided piece, so the thing can fold inside itself. And there's a bunch of new decorations. Uh, we have uh, his face <coughs> is decorated, which is actually the same piece we created for Optimus Prime's face, so it's now decorated. Uh, we decorate all the little uh, detail on here. This is very early prototype still, so these are the labels that you're seeing on here. But it will be decorated. Also the logo on the front. You'll also get the opportunity to have a blank one here, so that comes extra. There's also an extra logo, which you could put maybe on the foot, because it changes from episode to episode. <laughs> it's not that consistent. Uh, and then it has uh, some, some stickers that we're actually quite happy about. We have uh, alternate number plates, so there's a... Uh, a Bumblebee 84 number plate, and also a Goldbug number plate if you want to change it. Uh, it has some, uh, some bump stickers, as I mentioned before, and the important plank. Thank is. you, Sam. We will prioritize questions from people that are not participating in entertainment later. Kaz. And you know when I have this is my reference material, right? And it's like it's like awful. <laughs> like, so this is him, right? This is Bumblebee. Um, and actually had to. I did a lot of drawings, like technical drawings, to work out like if I if I was to take a car and slice it up, what becomes what? Because mm -hmm. I want the roof to be the chest. I want the feet to be the bonnet. So how can I slice the car up? And then yeah. Trying to work out, like in my head, how these things are gonna flow around. Yeah. Yeah. Graham. Um, so obviously, a lot of the licensing partners that, that you work with, um, are like uh, entertainment partners and things, but Hasbro is also a toy company. What's it like collaborating with another toy company? Yeah. Uh, I was super intimidated at the beginning, but actually, it, it was they were super cool to work with. Like, it's so fun to work with them. They have. Um, like just this real open outlook on how the characters should be translated. So, you know, Prime isn't a perfect replica, he's the Lego Optimus Prime. So we, we were quite open to it, this should be the Lego Bumblebee. So, so we, uh, we were very collaborative on like, this is how we can get into like, you know, everyone has to make compromises because the Lego bricks, they can't change shape and size. So we have to, uh, um, work out how to build all these things. So my main focus was to get the scale correctly in this one, because when you're going to put these in your glass cabinet, which you're going to want to do that, right? And uh, put these in your glass cabinet together, which they should look like they work together. And if Bumblebee was kind of oversized, it might look weird. So I want them to fit together as a family. Thank you very much, Sam. Okay. How are you guys finding it? Fine. Being in, in this so country. I'm gonna be throwing in a deep end, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You're you're in the trenches of Lego now. Yeah. <laughs> you've met you've met all the hardcore fans. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Oh my goodness. Well, this is the mechanics of this. It's really exciting. Yeah. Um, would you have stuff you want to talk about first before we get into like questions or? Um, well, I can just tell you what I have on the table here. So, sure. so we have uh, the final set, Optimus Prime, of course. Then um, actually the two on the side here, these are the original prototypes that we made. Oh. So, um, you know, my my colleague Sven, who presented this morning, yeah. um, he uh, made um, this car. And everyone was like, oh yeah, that could be a really great car for Bumblebee. Can we see the robot? And then he transformed it and the robot's not good, right? So, <laughs> so uh, then uh, I made this robot and I was like, 
I'm going to make it trust off. And I gave up because right? <laughs> it was really difficult. So between a few of us, um, we got together and, and uh, yeah, just tried to hash it out and see like how you could get from A to B. Yeah, yeah very so. cool. The thing that I'm honestly most interested in with this is, is this, um, sure. because this is sure. this is a new the new ratchet joint, I guess. Yes. Uh, what yeah. specifically led to the development of this as opposed yeah. to like another type of ratchet joint? Sure. Like so I did um, whilst I was developing this, I kept like having you know, waking up in the middle of the night doing drawings and stuff. You guys know how that is, right? Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, you have ideas like at weird times of day, yeah. and then you have to draw it and try and work it out. So. Um, I'm trying to make this kind of chubby little car turn into a super heroic robot and uh, and to do that I thought wouldn't it be cool if I could somehow extend the car out mm. and so I was trying to think of ways to make something fold inside itself mm. what might be the, the functionality because I don't want the roof to necessarily turn the other way yeah. I want the roof to still be the chest so if the, if the roof goes over then it seems needs to rotate so I drew this on a piece of paper and handed it to someone and said, I want this, I don't want, uh, and then I actually, to make it clearer, I just went and took two of the others and I cut them in half <laughs> and I glued them together and said, I want this. <laughs> and uh, I can't remember how many holes it had, but then we were discussing like, how long should it be? Right, and, right. and uh, yeah, what what size should it be? And yeah. So this obviously has some crazy applications for future Lego Max and sets, but so. it was designed for this. Yeah. So. Okay. The, so it's a design with this in mind um, because we, you know, when we when we made Optimus Prime, we made a special uh, one by two brick that has the ratchet click in it. Yeah. Oh, that was for Optimus Prime. I think it's made for this, yeah. Oh, um, yeah and right. so that was like a tool to make a, a robot. Yeah. That, so I the that. the He's changes, so right? So and uh, I used it also in Bumblebee as well. Like, you can see oh, <laughs> the way that it's sticking nice. out. Um, and so then, like, just. This is a really good tool for what might be the future, right? So yeah. imagine if we wanted to make more of these. So um, yeah, so it could be, you know, if we make another one, that one also has an exclusive transformer piece, right? Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm, but, I'm all for it, that. More than it, it's about making uh, tools uh, to make more. And I didn't want to make specialized parts. I didn't want yeah. to like mold his head or something. Like yeah. That. So. I wanted to make it so it was like a real Lego piece that makes makes transformation possible. Okay. Yeah. I I know you've probably done it a thousand times, but I sure. would it be possible to transform course, the car? Of course. Actually, you know what might be interesting if you film. Yep. And, and you talk me through the transformation. Maybe. And you do it. Yeah, I think that might be a little bit more so fun. So it breaks. <laughs> okay. So this is right. We've got the bumper. Yeah. So the cool thing about this set before you start is yeah. that. When you make Optimus Prime, you build the robot first, right? Mm -hmm. And then you transform it into a truck. Yeah. But to, I was starting out with, I really want him to be in disguise because oh. they're robots in disguise. Yeah, right? So yeah, actually, yeah. Oh. when you build it, you build the entire car oh, nice. and then you change it to a robot. Okay. So it's, uh, so it's kind of the backwards way to do it. And um, so the first, okay, thing, what is the process? the first thing you need to do is you need to take the windscreen off. Right. So windscreen off. Just... Yeah, just like that. Okay, yes. and, and that just this is the, the bumblebee like jetpack. Yeah, thing, yeah. Right? So you okay. can just put that to one side, nice. right? And then uh, you have to open the doors. Open the doors, okay. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. So they're they're open all the way there. Then uh, you need to take the arms and clip them out. Arms. Oh. Oh. Are these. So you can kind of grab it by that yellow. There. these things yeah and, and it clicks out. out oh yeah oh oh there we go oh whoa there's like a this is there's a lot going on yeah. here okay <laughs> right? oh my goodness and then yeah. you have to rotate those so the hands point down to the table okay uh, so like this oh okay right. sure. yeah then you can take this piece yep and you move it to there oh oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so it I really see. makes the thing massive all of a sudden, yeah. right? Oh, wow, that is so that cool. Right. Yeah. So, that's, so that's now that's you can, one. if you lay it on the table now, yeah. now you can split the front in half. Yeah. So <laughs> it only needs to go like one click. Then you lift this up, yeah, on both sides. And then you take the front of the yellow and you push that towards you. Oh, what? This one, yeah. This one. Oh. Like and then 
Interesting. Yeah, and then this one stands up. Yeah. Oh, fine. Whoa. Oh, that's on like skeleton. <laughs> This is insane! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, okay. And then you put that one down, and that's what helps okay. him to stand. Oh, right. interesting. Okay. And oh, wow. yeah, so, and then these kind of wrap around. Yep. Okay. And then this part folds. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Cool. Then yeah. see this piece that's on the bottom. You fold that out, oh, uh, and nice. that kind of oh, that is you kind of click it so it goes in between the legs. Oh. So you kind of. Yeah, somehow like it just fits snugly. Oh, like, like that. that. So that's oh, so like, this is like perpetually like bent a little backwards yeah. for the hinge there. Okay, okay. And nice. then uh, you can move the arms into position. Yep. Oh, yeah. You can have like a little bit of articulation on the shoulders <laughs> there. Like, oh my goodness. Okay. So, and then you put these little triangles down to the side. Oh wow! Wow. Okay. <laughs> so okay. Small detail. Yeah. And um, then you fold these in. Fold these in. And you fold this up, oh, and then you there he is. push it oh. back, and it just rests behind his head. Oh wow! Are we getting a recolor of the axes in yellow? Yeah, yeah. that's gonna be so very everything nice. here is like hand painted. And yeah, it's good. It just goes back. Yeah. <sighs> and Look that's it. At that. And uh, you can just uh, reveal the hands a bit by folding that yellow piece back. Oh, nice! Yeah. Oh my god, that is so cool. That is amazing. You're the first person to transform it to me. <laughs> Thank you for letting me do that. I was like, I, I didn't know if I was going to be allowed to, but I was like, I kind of wanted to ask like, if I can transform it. Because that feels more interesting than you doing it like 10 times today. So, yeah. oh, wow. There we go. Look at that. That was <laughs> nice. So everything that's on the front of the robot is printed. So all the decorations were printed, Including the logo, these. the legs, okay. the face, Perfect. the helmet face. detail. Oh, yeah. oh nice. so All of it will be decorated. Okay. Um, and then there's a small sticker sheet, which has the, the plaque. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Of course you gotta do the stickers from And he has alternate number plates, so you can decide whether you want it to say Bumblebee, or if you want it to say Goldbug. Nice. And then he has some little uh, cheeky uh, bumper stickers. <laughs> this is... Honestly, so impressive. I mean, as a model, I was so curious how this was going to be pulled off because I feel like <laughs> Lego and Transformers is something really difficult to, to accomplish, but I mean, yeah. you've really pulled it off. But should we get a picture of the next to Optimus? I think that's a really, that's a good one right there to, to get the... Yeah. Oh, and let's you see can that. Put this on, so you fold these little... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like this, and then you place it on the back. It's a little bit fiddly. Um, you have to get it on the studs there. Oh, like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah just it's a tiny bit fiddly, right? This honestly uh, reminds me a little bit of like Exoforce in a good way, like the, the way that like you kind of just mess around with it until yeah, it like yeah, stays yeah. together. Sure. That's really funny. Oh, that. oh my goodness, that's so cool. Wow, okay, so I guess my question is, with the development of a model like mm. this, is this something that you needed to like, say, wait for sales data or popularity of Optimus mm. Prime to come in before deciding to embark on it? Or did it just take longer to come out after Optimus came because of the development process of just accomplishing this as a functioning yeah. model? So I think I started working on it just about the time Optimus Prime came out. Okay. We were seeing the, the fan reaction. Yeah. And uh, just being like, well, this is something that people want, right? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. you know, because Optimus Prime was kind of this lightning in a bottle, yeah. maybe once in a lifetime moment. Yeah. Right? And uh, between two two separate toy manufacturers, we just wanted to offer yeah. maybe more to that experience. And, and uh, you know, it's in, in the last, what, 20 years almost? Bumblebee's been one of the focal points of the Transformers franchise, so oh, why yeah. not? Yeah. Why not go for him, right? Because he's literally number two on the fan favorites list. Mm. Optimus Prime is number one. Yep. So. so Megatron <laughs> next year, right? <laughs> <laughs> so so we uh, we thought, you know, he's super different to Optimus Prime. Yeah. Really striking in color compared to the red and blue. He's bright yellow and and black. It doesn't really look like any other Lego set that we've got out, you know? Yeah. yeah. So we uh quite excited. Uh, but the thing was, it's like, he's going to be smaller than Optimus Prime. Yeah. So, Probably not possible, right? Well, and uh, <laughs> I'm just a very stubborn person. <laughs> and uh, I just believe that everything can be done. You just need the care and attention that it deserves. I really I really like that. Yeah. So do you happen to know any details about the price point for this model, given that yeah. it is smaller? Like, what is... It, it costs $89.99. Oh, yeah. okay, all right. Yeah. This is... Prime, I think, is $179. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's really great. Yeah, this yeah. is... Wow, okay. 
So one thing I am curious about is obviously with these vehicle pieces, you would mm. think that they would come in something like uh, the, the Icons Creator vehicles and yeah. whatnot. Um, so did you do any collaboration with the teams of designing those like large scale cars there? Yeah, to get yeah. This? so we worked, actually this is part of the Icons product line. So, so oh, actually yeah. we're in, yeah, we're yeah, in the right, team yeah. together. So myself, uh, Jamie Barad, uh, and uh, you know all the guys, Mike Psyche, uh, all these yeah. people that are working on on those vehicle products are working together. So we, you know, we had this idea that it could be a reusable part. So, and it gives a lot of personality to the Bumblebee uh, robot and vehicle. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, this is this is so good. Um, I guess the the next question would be. Was it, I guess, what challenges did you go through to make this a stable toy for sure. kids to play sure. with? Um, well, we're in the 18 plus, right? So we're, yeah. we're looking more into, it's probably a display item, right? Yeah. Um, and we uh, really wanted it to be the same as or better quality than Optimus Prime. Yeah. We have a lot of data from our consumers. Mm -hmm. Wanted to offer them like, something new and cool. Sure. Um, and uh, so, so then we, uh, if you rotate the arms backward, oh, because well, they don't click in until. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, if, what was I saying? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so, plus. Yeah. Um, so, um, so we, I wanted it to be possible to handle, because you know, transformers they transform. They transform, yeah. right? So it has to be it has to be able to do both things. And yeah, fiddling, fiddling around with transformers and trying to work out how they work is part of the fun. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah, just like enjoying it trying now. to figure out like, okay, how is this? Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> so how long? You said you started working on this in September when yeah. Optimus Prime just just came out. That's, yeah, yeah. That's a quick. And that's and quick then uh, then I finished it two weeks ago. So it's around 12 months development wow. on this product. Okay. For something like this, um, I don't know, like, is there like, so what sort of like testing gets done? I'm just so curious about like how this, the standards are in terms of like making a model as, as complex as this and yeah. as many moving pieces. Um, was how many iterates are I'm trying to figure out this like figure this out while I'm asking questions like okay that probably wasn't the, the best way to accomplish that closure but you know I think I think we we've got oh ah, there, 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 there we go okay I think I'm ah, okay <laughs> something's clicking um wow that's that's impressive holy moly um oh yeah in the back squeeze a little. Oh, that was supposed to. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, forgot about that. <laughs> Nailed it. Hey, there, there we go. Try. <laughs> First try. Yes. <laughs> I got a time lapse of that. <laughs> Look at this. Just trying to figure out. <laughs> oh. Nice oh, that's a good, that's that's a good time. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so I guess I'm curious, like, for, for the standards and testing for something mm -hmm. like this, I'm always very curious about how LEGO deems something appropriate for kids to be... Sorry, what is that? It's a new piece. You're the first person to notice it. Oh. It's a new tile. Oh my goodness. There's what? a left and right, it's on both sides. Oh. Hey, Ralph, can we get a photo of this? <laughs> look, look at that. I, I was know, like, I hold know, on. I that's, when it comes yeah, out. I was like, that's not the piece that, <laughs> that, that I'm thinking of. I don't know when it comes out, but it's uh, I think Speed Champions. Oh, that ex that makes sense. Yeah, I feel like Speed <laughs> Champions would make yeah. something like that. Yeah. Uh, but yes, question was testing this for mm. playing for kids, and I know yeah. you said you went under a lot of yeah. testing. Um, I'm curious how that differs at all compared to, like, say, designing a normal Lego set. Yeah. Are there extra considerations that need to be made? I know you mm -hmm. mentioned it's for 18 plus for icons, but I'm sure that a lot of kids will be definitely buying yeah. this and trying yeah. to put it together. Probably. So is that yeah. a factor? Like, do you even play test with kids if it's an 18 plus set? Yeah. How does that work? We, um, we're not necessarily uh, play testing with kids, but it's, mm -hmm. it goes through a lot of hands to try it out. You know? Sure. So, so we... Um, we have a heat test, I don't know if you've heard about heat testing. Yes. Which yes. is like to test the kind of aging mm -hmm. process of Lego. You know, oh, if you were to leave it on the windowsill, uh, one that in the window for say 10 years, yep. and then go back to it and give it to your little brother or whatever, right? Mm. 
um, can it still function? Um, or is there a spot that might be the yeah. weak point at that point? Right. So um, so we are working on a lot of stuff like that. So I've he tested this about 10 times. Oh, yeah. and it's still... Yeah, normally we would only do it once or twice. Yeah. And I did it around 10 times just because it as soon as you change something that affects like yeah. it's like a butterfly effect through that whole thing. That so. makes sense. It's cool to see color swaps of the one by four, the the curve piece there. I'm yeah. guessing. Is this gonna be color swapped as well? The the, the No, the it will stay in grey though. Alright, alright. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did change um is it a Z shape brick here? Let's see this one. Oh yeah. that's in yellow. <laughs> okay, I see. Yeah. And these in black? Yeah. 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 That's There's also a one by two plate with the Technic hole at the end. It's like, oh, it's yeah. almost like three. Yeah. Uh, three oh, is that this? In, in here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see this. One. Let's see there. This one in black. Oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. That one in black. There's um, the sideways clicks in yellow. They're both oh, yeah. new. I guess you really need to have that. In the one by four uh, yeah. curvy plate there. So that's a lot of. So I guess quite, quite how do you? I guess you have to prioritize sort of the ones that are most obvious in the model, whereas something like this. Yeah, it, it, is, it might be. It could be like a vent, or, and it also yeah. looks good as the elbow. <laughs> so, makes, so, oh, okay. so you have so, to make compromises on both right. sides of like, does this work for the car? Does this work for the vehicle, sure. for the the robot? Right? Yeah, yeah. I love the bubble. Do you see that the bubble be like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, that's really cute. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, oh. This is, this is so cool. I can't wait to... Do, you, do we know when this is launching? 1st of July. So it's quite July 1st. Yeah, that's quite a half far. Yeah, yeah. I, I certainly hope it does well because I, I want to see more. I don't really know that much about Transformers, but sure. I, I love Bionicle and Lego Max sure. and Lego sure. Buildable. I think, I think what it, what we also saw with Voltron back in those days, yeah. the people were just kind of had this curiosity. Like, yeah. what is this and how does it work? Right? I don't yeah. know what a Voltron is. Yes. I don't know what a Transformer is, but... <laughs> Oh, Why, what, yeah. Oh, yeah. How does this work? Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, with um, with transform. I mean, even with stuff like this, I think the most interesting thing is just seeing the functionality, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember when I was building Voltron, that was revolutionary for making <laughs> seriously for making yeah. large scale movable mechs. Like that was the yeah. the first time you did the the whole like technique, the gear thing. Yeah, and, like the, yeah, yeah. Different, the with the ball joint friction and the gear at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was really something special, yeah. and I'm really happy you brought prototypes. As prototypes, I, I mean, it's, I'm so interested in prototypes. Like, it's so cool seeing <laughs> like concept models, and that is the most interesting thing to me. So that is so cool. <laughs> wow! Oh my goodness, this is this is insane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's all those fun detail that you can open up the boot. Yeah, you can see his face. <laughs> 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 That's I know, right? so stupid. <laughs> yeah, it, just, it just happened to be like this. He's like... speaking out. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I got I to gotta try and transform it one more time. <laughs> That's like the coolest thing. I feel like because once I build my copy, I'll just be like, oh, I don't want to transform it again. Like, I'll just leave it. Leave it be. Yeah, but, but now it's yeah. like, okay, you know, you got got the play model here. Yeah. Like, why not? Uh, oh, it's like, it's like, oh, so what's your favorite thing about about this model? I think uh, just the the weirdness of it, which I'm quite proud of. You know, like, yeah. We, when we made Optimus Prime, people are quite forgiving on weird movements and you know non Lego ways of, of doing a product and. Uh, I think that was a big learning curve for me. Like, you know, now I can make it a little bit fiddly. So it is like a puzzle but yeah. that you have to solve. And so it's being able to play around with, I mean, this is like, unlike any other Lego set, it's just doing this. Like, this is just crazy to actually be able to play around with this. And, and there's so many moving pieces, which is so interesting to see for a Lego model. So definitely revolutionary. <laughs> The, the instructions thing, I'm not happy with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have to so, make every step, right? Yeah, so like how, you add how do you even do this more annoying is. as instructions? Yeah. Like, I kind of want to know what the instructions look like for this, because that's this is pretty wild. Like, there's a lot of stuff that, I mean, even, like, I keep forgetting, like, these little things fold down, and then you got to remember to fold them back up. It's really cool that it's built almost, like, in the compressed form. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
and squeeze together. And squeeze together, yeah. Easy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> I could just keep transforming this back and forth. That's what I did with like Optimus Prime when I got it. I just kept transforming yeah. <laughs> it back and forth like for hours. And <laughs> So is this, this is officially, this is Icons, like this is, yeah. there's not a Transformers theme or anything, but. No, so this is still part of the uh, Icons. Interesting. Oh, oh, shoot, I'm so sorry. That, oh, wow, that is. <laughs> really shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's something, yeah. <laughs> right, we, gotta, we gotta put the work in progress next to the actual thing. <laughs> Mother, they're like brothers. Yeah. Don't talk to me or my little brother ever again, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, with that, we've summed up our look at the brand new LEGO Transformers Bumblebee. And of course, I will be publishing my review very soon, as soon as I'm allowed to publish the review and crack this box open. So definitely stay tuned to the Knock Bricks YouTube channel for a full-on, in-depth review of this model. And let me know what you think of the newest LEGO Transformer set. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.